In an AI-dominated world, daily life had undergone a remarkable transformation. AI assistants flawlessly manage schedules, appointments, and tasks, while AI-powered algorithms created captivating content. Businesses thrived with AI-driven insights, and communication barriers crumbled with real-time translation. Amidst this technological marvel, a small group of unknowingly missed out on the AI revolution. Unaware of the wonders that awaited, they struggled with outdated methods, longing to navigate the waves of efficiency. But hope flickered the way as they neared the hidden knowledge of ChatGPT. They saw the sign, ChatGPT for content creators. If you guys want to learn more about ChatGPT, this is where you'll be. So hopefully you guys will reach until the end of my whole presentation today. So you will not be just another story written by ChatGPT. Uh, so for those who have no idea who I am, my name is Lian Lai Lakaba. I actually started working online as a blogger when I was 15 years old. I worked then as a book editor for a pub book publishing company for many years. And then I became CEO of it at 20 years old. And at 23, I started 2XU, which is my executive assistant agency in Cebu. I now run, help run three other companies in Cebu, Philippines with 50 plus employees. By the way, we are hiring, I put it on the job board. And in the last three years, I've created 3,000 pieces of content. That's a lot of me talking. I'm on TikTok, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, I'm practically everywhere because this is something that I love, I'm teaching people how to work from home. And I've spoken all over Asia doing what I want, what I love basically, which is going remote. That was me in uh, WordCamp Cebu just this year and then WordCamp Thailand. So this is actually my third WordCamp just this year. Uh, and I joined the WordCamp community in uh, 2019, the first one in Cebu. And I've also created a product called the 2XU AI Prompt Assistant, which is basically our collection of prompts that we've been using in 2XU on using ChatGPT. So, so what the heck is ChatGPT? Who here already signed up for ChatGPT or has been using it in the last six months? Amazing, love the hands going up. So first, I wanna talk to you guys of what it isn't. For those who haven't tried about it before, haven't heard about it before, so ChatGPT isn't going to replace you unless you let it. ChatGPT is not perfect and can make mistakes. In fact, when you sign up for ChatGPT, that's one of the first things that they'll say is like, this is not perfect, it's not always accurate, and it isn't a one-size-fits-all solution to your problems. It's not a magic tool that like all of a sudden you can do all of these things because I believe at least that ChatGPT is a tool that multiplies you. And ChatGPT is not an infallible source of information. It's not a source of truth. Again, it makes mistakes. It's getting data from different places. So you should just trust what ChatGPT says. And it is not a substitute for ethical considerations. It's not human. It doesn't fully really understand what's wrong or right. So it is something that is, again, a tool for you to use. So what is ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is an AI-powered language model that can generate human-like text. So what it means is, imagine you're talking to, you know that one friend who is like know-it-all, like knows everything? Uh, that's what kind of ChatGPT is. And it can provide ideas, suggestions, and recommendations on various topics. It can save time and effort, such as for research, writing, and communication, and that's how I've been using it even and can help generate content. Like for me, the last six months, my content has forever changed just because a lot of it is generated by ChatGPT. And it could be a valuable tool for mostly my people of virtual assistants uh, and enhancing the abilities to support clients. So a few ChatGPT terminologies, just so we don't get lost in the translation. Uh, so prompt is what you input into ChatGPT. That's what a prompt is. You're prompting ChatGPT to do something based on the information that you give it. The output is ChatGPT's response. So you give it a, you ask it a question, it gives you a response. That's usually what is an output. A thread is then a collection of prompts and output in one thread. So if you're going into ChatGPT, you log in, you see one of the things is you can click new chat. Every time you fill that up, that's a thread. 
Next is prompt engineering. Now, who here has heard of the term prompt engineering? Yeah, some people. It is going to be one of the highest paced paying job in the next few years. And what it really is, is just modifying the prompt to get the answer that you need. So if you guys want to be prompt engineers, but not the coding side, this is a lot of basically the basics of what it is. So prompt engineering is you're getting to the point where you're engineering the right things, the right prompt. So again, you can get the output that you need from ChatGPT. And task GPT, is something I totally made up. So it's basically a chat GPT thread for each kind of task. A couple of examples for, is I have an email writer. I have a newsletter writer for, in chat GPT. I have one that creates my captions on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, my YouTube descriptions are all written by chat GPT. So why learn chat GPT in the first place? First one is AI is here. Whether we like it or not, it's going to be here to stay. It's just going to get better. Sometimes it sucks, it's not perfect, but it is here. Next is it does make your day a little bit easier. Like today I was like, how do I do this intro with ChatGPT? And I asked ChatGPT and it gave me that story that I just told you guys. Also, you can learn any skill with ChatGPT. You can unlock ChatGPT as a teacher if you wanted to. It can create businesses and products. In fact, I launched a mini business on the side using ChatGPT. And most AI tools are now sourcing from ChatGPT. You would see powered by ChatGPT in a lot of tools. So the earlier that you guys learn this, the more that you become an expert on this, the more that, of course, later on, it'll be so much easier for you to use the other tools, uh, the AI tools that are coming out there. It's like 100 a day uh, that are being made. And of course, why not? Like, it is a tool that's coming up. It's a tool that will get better and better. So why not learn it as early as now? So a couple of do's and don'ts when using ChatGPT. One is prime your ChatGPT thread, and I'll teach you guys a really cool tool that I use for this. Uh, separate your tasks into threads. What that means is, like I said, I have an email writer, I have an email responder, ChatGPT, so you can separate those out. Uh, use it as a resource and a tool. I always believe that Basically, any tool is just a multiplier of you. So use ChatGPT as an extension of you, not as a replacer of you. And of course, make sure you double, triple check. You know, again, ChatGPT is not going to be perfect. It's going to make mistakes. So before you send it out, you might want to make sure that you customize it to what it is that you need, to your voice, to how you naturally would talk. And of course, be as specific as possible of what outcome that you need. What is the thing that you need from ChatGPT? Hey, can you create this table? Hey, can you write this email? Be specific what it is or else it will always give you the generic response. And experiment a few times with how your prompts are written. Anytime that I am in a call with a client and I tell them like, oh, if you just rewrite this ChatGPT prompt, it'll make it so much better. And they've always been impressed so many times. So just try to experiment. And this is how basically you train yourself to become a prompt engineer. And give it feedback. Not a lot of people do this where they give ChatGPT like, hey, amazing job, thanks for this. I found that the nicer you are to ChatGPT, the nicer it is or more specific the outcome. So that's just a little, little tip that I've learned in the last couple of months. So then a couple of don'ts on using ChatGPT. Don't offer sensitive information. Um, I jokingly uh, tried to get it to make my astrological chart. <laughs> which ChatGPT gave it a fake birthday. But then I found out like, oh, it stores your information, so you probably don't want to do that. Uh, and don't expect it to understand you. It will just basically grab the information that you send it, make it up as it goes. I think of ChatGPT sometimes as a five-year-old kid that'll always say, yes, I know what it is, even though it doesn't know it. So don't, try it to, don't expect it to just understand you right off the bat. And never use it to create original content because it never will. It's just grabbing information that it already has from what it has scraped from the internet. And Again, don't trust what it says when it comes to getting information. It will never really give you the right. I've even seen it do like the wrong quote. It'll quote like, this is a beautiful quote, and then give the author, and it's the wrong author. So double check definitely before you use it. And don't give it harmful prompts. Again, your, your chat GPT is now out because it's still on beta. People are still testing out. It's still learning from how we talk to it. So if you give it harmful information, if you bully chat GPT, 
don't bully ChatGPT because then it will, it will circulate around to everyone else in the future. So how I've used ChatGPT so far, I have used ChatGPT for creating templates. I've used it to write emails, documents, forms that I needed for my own company. I've used it to create communication replies, create a lot of content. I've created 74 standing operating procedures for our business assets in my company and just rewrote it basically to what was relevant. And I've also used it to create a whole new onboarding process for both our clients and for our employees. I've used it to write difficult employee emails. If an employee needs a warning or needed to get let go, I've actually kind of cringingly used ChatGPT for it and actually made it a little bit lighter to write those kinds of emails. I've used it to rewrite company policies and build out, again, my astrology chart. It was a fake one, but it was fun to use. So this is basically a little bit of what you'll see with ChatGPT. Again, the top part is your prompt. The output is the one bottom. And honestly, part of these slides were created by ChatGPT. It already gave us parts of what I'm talking about. But that is basically how I've used ChatGPT in the last couple of months. So who here is now ready to learn how to actually use ChatGPT? Yeah, yeah, yay, amazing. Okay, so I will be focusing more on content creators since I know for a lot of you guys here, you're bloggers or you're starting to create your own content. However, this can be applied if you're using it for business or for work. So how to set up ChatGPT? Of course, if you guys haven't already signed up, it'll make you verify your email address, so on and so forth. It's super straightforward and easy. So now, starting a thread. So when you get to that blank page on ChatGPT, you might be like, how do I put this? What do I put there? How do I make sure that I succeed with ChatGPT? So I made up something called the woe method. So what the woe method is, is basically who are you, what do you do, and who do you work with? What is the outcome that you need from ChatGPT? Asking it, are you ready? Basically, do you understand what I'm saying? And how do you want it to be done? Which is usually just an add-on thing that you can do with ChatGPT. So what it actually looks like in practice, whoop, ha, it went double. So it's the woe is the outcome. You want to make sure that you put in. The outcome is a specialty, act as, or specific output. So I will sometimes say to ChatGPT, I will need your specialty in being a marketing assistant. I will need your specialty in HR, so on and so forth. And then the act as is I need you to act as HR. I need you to act as a manager. And the specific output is, again, if you need a table to be done, if you need it to be, you're writing a, uh, asking ChatGPT to write a prompt for mid-journey, you can, you can ask it to do that. And then the how is just the ask for specifically what you need. If you're creating content, what platform? If you're creating assets, what kind of template? If you're creating research, what format do you want it to be in? Again, you want to be specific as possible when it comes to asking ChatGPT. So an example for you guys is you'll say, I am a, what you do, so that's the W, working with a type of client that's who you work with, an introduction to the business, and then I would like your assistance in, insert the work that you need help with. So that's the O, oh, that's the outcome. Are you ready? And then I need you to be in what format or system that you want it to follow. So for example here, I am a content creator for two audiences, aspiring virtual assistants and business owners who want to hire virtual assistants. I create content on how to get started and how to succeed. I need your expertise in creating really good content for my audience. Are you ready? So this is the prompt that I use to start the other prompts that I'll be showing you, but it essentially is just that. But that's how you use the woe method. Um, and usually people just jump into ChatGPT asking it for what you want. You will get very generic responses. So with this, it becomes more specific to who you are, what you do, who you work for, and of course, again, that outcome that you need from ChatGPT. So here are different ways that you can use ChatGPT as a content creator. One is creating your ideal audience. If you have no idea who you're talking to, are you really talking to anyone? And it's also to create content ideas. I'm gonna show you guys how to create one year worth of content using ChatGPT. It's also great for creating your content calendar, creating the draft of your content. Remember I'm saying draft, not the finished product. And it's also great for repurposing your content for different platforms. 
and of course, creating your content systems. So what this actually looks like in practice, I'll give you actual prompts that I experimented with ChatGPT with this. So first, on creating your ideal audience. When it comes to being a content creator, again, you need to know who you're talking to. So ask ChatGPT as your expert, basically. So I asked it, uh, can you give me an audience profile that I can use when it comes to generating content? So because I gave it like, hey, I talked to two people, virtual assistants and business owners. So it gave me the profile for both. So it gave me the aspiring virtual assistant profile, the demographics, goals and interests, pains and pain points and challenges, and the business owners. So I cut off, I had to cut off basically that part, but it gave me each part so I know who I'm talking to. I know if I'm going to be talking in English, in Tagalog, in Visaya, or where I, um, up to basically that audience that I have picked. So. Right now, you can pop that prompt into ChatGPT after you use the woe method, and it will give you a more just specific response. Next, so this is how you can create a year worth of content using ChatGPT. So the first part is I asked, what are the 12 bottlenecks when hiring a virtual assistant? That will be, the response for that is now your monthly content. So one is lack of job, clear job description, as an example, that's January. Uh, inadequate training, that's February content. Uh, poor communication, that's March content. So you now have that every single month. How to break, break it down to weekly is you have create, uh, expand four video topics on number one. So you're asking it to expand the topic from lack of clear job description. You know, these are now your weekly content. And finally, if you want it to be uh, more into a YouTube script, for example, this is what I would put, which is create the bullet points of number one. So that is how like, I have created my year-long content already using ChatGPT. Next is you can definitely use it to create your own content calendar. So you can, again, you can use this prompt of, can you create an ideal weekly content calendar involving a twice a week YouTube videos, which is what I do, that will be repurposed in Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, broken down to what should be posted daily in table form. So right there, it gave me now the table form of what it is that I want with my content. So if you're struggling with your content, if you want to get better at it, at being consistent, you can ask ChatGPT for your content calendar. Next is, again, creating the draft of your content. So I asked it like, hey, write up a TikTok video caption for how to work from home with ChatGPT with the following steps. And it wrote this out. And I actually copy and pasted this into my TikTok. So it's in one of my videos on there is written by ChatGPT. So, Honestly, isn't this cool? Like for me, b before ChatGPT, it would take me like an hour to write something or to be creative enough to get to that point. ChatGPT is like an employee where you don't have to pay it, you don't have to feed it, you don't ha uh, it doesn't quit on you, it doesn't complain because it just does exactly what you need it to do. Next is then for repurposing content. So I have a chat GPT, task GPT basically, where I trained it how to write as me. I basically fed it a couple of the way that I write on social media. So I can say, rewrite this post with Leanne's voice for Facebook and LinkedIn. So it can now generate content. So if you guys check out my Facebook, I like emojis a lot. Um, and if you notice, it added the emojis of how I usually would write and had the uh, call to action at the very end. So that's how quick and easy for me, I can repurpose something for Twitter, for threads now, for so many other platforms, just because how easy ChatGPT has made it for me. And of course, finally, when it comes to creating your content systems, you can ask, okay, how can I be consistent at this? How can I be successful at using ChatGPT? You can just ask it like, hey, can you create my content system? This way, if you, as you grow as a content creator, you can start giving this to your assistant or your video editor, like, hey, this is what our system would look like. So then you can be more consistent with it, with what you do. Now, as for you guys, I literally made this this morning. Um, if you guys go to 2xu.com slash leangpt or leangpt, uh, this is a downloadable of all the prompts with the videos that I've created in the last six months uh, and all the prompts that I've, I've also talked about in this uh, talk right here. So that is just a free product. I just created it on a notion 
description. I, again, I just created it just today. Um, so if you guys go to that, I, it has also like a good summary and run through of what I just talked about to you guys today. Um, it's available on Gumroad. So that is basically it. Hopefully you guys got a lot of really good information on how to use ChatGPT. So for everyone here who's heard, uh, hasn't heard of ChatGPT before, have you guys learned a little bit more today? Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Thank you, everyone. Oh, sorry. One more thing. I want to take a selfie with everyone because everyone looks so good and so cool. Hey. Ready? One, two, three. Yay. Thank you, everyone.